I literally look like Jacob from Twilight. <laughs> I really should have blow dried my hair first. Hello, hello, hello. Oh my God, I literally don't think that I can say hello, hello, hello without putting my hands up. So welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see by the title, I am going to do my everyday makeup. I was talking to the girls the other day and asked them what they wanted to see on my channel. And they were literally like, just do anything. They, they literally didn't care, they just wanted to see me. So I was like, wow. So I thought I'd do my everyday makeup. Super easy, super simple. But before we start, I have two shout outs. First, you may have seen, look what I got. I just came home from the gym and this was waiting for me. So that's why I have red face, wet hair, because I just quickly had a shower. I was too excited. So I got my All Body UK cropped sweatshirt. I got the More Self Love sweatshirt. And as you can see, it says All Body on the elbows. And guys, this is the comfiest sweatshirt that I have ever put on in my whole entire life. Like, I'm not even lying. So I'll show you what it looks like. Don't mind me, I'm literally fully wearing my sweats right now. But so it's cropped here, so it goes just on the waist. What I love about this is that it's not too cropped. So this is perfect and I am obsessed with it and I literally cannot wait to order every single one. Like I ready to make another order so thank you Emma for this I love it so much I mean I did pay for it myself I'm not that popular yet but shout out to you girl another plus size youtuber love you Mwah. love your stuff and love this okay so I apologize if my hair has changed on every shot just then it is annoying it is wet but I'm just gonna try and put it down like this and hopefully it'll be a little bit dry by the time we finish our makeup okay, so my second shout out is hello to all my new subscribers oh my god so everyone seemed to love my last video my ASOS haul it's just over like 400 views and I got like 20 new subscribers from it so we're almost at 50 which is so exciting so hello everyone thank you so much for being here thank you so much for watching and subscribing and giving me all the love I'm ready to give all the love back to you so that means more videos which I'm so excited about so so if you'd like to see my everyday glam, then keep watching. Okay, so first off, of course, we're gonna start with my Model Rock Beauty Sponge. Normal sponge, love it. But what I have been using lately is the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. So you would have seen this in my Melbourne haul. Um, I got it from Sephora while I was over there. And this is really nice. I really like this. So I've got it in color 2.50. So it's just this here. And you press this little button at the top and it like... <laughs> okay, don't hold it straight up because it will go all over the fucking carpet. Let's try this again. If you just see, you press it and it just comes out the top there. Cool. <laughs> so that comes out there. But before though, <sighs> that rattled me a little bit. I'm going to use some primer. So this is the Too Faced Hangover Primer. This is really nice, feels really good on my skin. And I found it just sort of locks everything in nicely. So just put that everywhere. Okay, so back onto that foundation now. I just pop my beauty blender in it and I go all over. So this is the makeup look that I do for work. So it's just sort of my everyday if I'm not going out and I'm not not wearing foundation then this is the look that I go for just sort of nice on the skin sometimes if I'm freshly tanned I will not wear foundation but I will do everything exactly the same I'll just skip out the foundation and the concealer I find because when I'm brown sometimes I just don't need it my skin looks good enough and my dark circles are not there which sometimes I'm very very blessed with so yeah 
just going to slap on a bit of concealer. So I'm using the Radiant Creamy Concealer by NARS in Custard. And I don't really like this. Um, I'm just kind of using it up. It's almost done. I hate the little tool. Like, there's so much left in here, but I can hardly get it out. I find it's probably one shade too dark. I do really like a brightening concealer and this just isn't bright enough for me, especially now that I am a bit more tanned after Bali, but it does the job, so that just brightens me up a bit. So of course as always the match, 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 yeah, match perfection translucent powder from Rimmel. So I was talking to one of my girlfriends the other day about this powder and she was saying how we, because she uses the exact same powder as me, and she's like, we really need to move up in the world and get a better powder. So let me know in the comments below. We really want to try a high-end powder. We were thinking the Laura Mercier because you can now get it again in Australia, which is awesome. Um, but let us know if there is any powders that you really like, that you use, that work for you. I think I may try the Huda Beauty cake powder, um, cake baking powder or something like that. I can't remember what it's called. Let me know if you have any high-end powder recommendations. Okay, so that's my super simple base done. I'm going to head on in with a little bit of bronzer with my all-time favorite, of course, the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. So I'm just using my big fluffy MAC brush here and I just tip it in and I go for it. I do my chin, some on my forehead too because your girl's got a big fat forehead and I'd like it to look smaller, see. Oh my God. So do you remember when I did my green eye makeup tutorial and the blush that I had and it was all gross, it was old, there was hardly anything left and I said that I was gonna get a new one. So the next time that I went over to my girlfriend Monica's house, she had bought me a belated birthday present and look what it was. <gasps> The Sun Basque blush from MAC, so the exact same one that was like five years old for my makeup bag. She bought me a new one. Oh. <laughs> Literally, I tell every single person this story because it is so cute and I just love it and I love her and I love this blush. So, lightly tap in and just a little bit on the cheekbones to add a bit of color. As always, my Becca Chloe Malika palette. Now, I always change up what brush I use for my highlighter but every day at work and stuff like that when I don't want to be too blinding. I know, too blinding. I use this fan brush. I got this from Smashbox. So the Smashbox fan brush. So just lightly, and this gives like quite a natural um, fluffy highlight. Is a fluffy highlight the right word? It just sort of doesn't concentrate it as much. It just sort of gives a light highlight effect which i like for during the week so next i'm going into the eyes nothing crazy on the eyes first for my eyes so just to give a base for my eyeliner i'm going to use again the hula bronzer so i'm just going to go in with my morphe m433 brush and just tap it lightly and i'm just going all over my lid with this just to give a bit of definition into my eye socket and now I am going to go in with my eyeliner. So I never, ever, ever used to use eyeliner until I bought the Quick Flick. It is my favorite eyeliner in the whole entire world. I am a absolute pro at it now. Um, and yeah, it's just really amazing quality eyeliner and really easy to put on. I'll zoom you out just a little bit. And if you haven't heard about the Quick Flick, it is an eyeliner stamp here that looks like this. So in the packet, it comes with two eyeliners. One is the left one, one is the right one. So this is the left pen here. So it has a stamp on one end, as you can see here. And the other end is just a pen. So what you do is you stamp on the wing and then you fill it in with the pen. And I love this. I will show you how I do it on my right eye. So obviously I just take the stamp side 
and I'm gonna stamp it on and I'm gonna stamp it on Just going to put a little flick at the tip. There we go. So that is my eyeliner done. I highly, highly, highly recommend the Quick Flick to anyone that wants to learn how to do eyeliner, anything like that. I think they're amazing. So as you can see, I only went halfway down my lash line. So I do that when I don't wear false eyelashes because my lashes on the inner corner of my eyes are obviously not as long as the ones on the outer corner of my eye. So I like to leave that part of my lash line empty so that my lashes look longer in the corner. That's the only reason. So I'm gonna use my Bad Girl Bang Mascara, which is my all time favorite. It looks like I'm wearing false eyelashes. Love it. Guys, so that's my mascara done. As you may be able to see, there is mascara on my eyelid. This always happens because I bloody recently got a <laughs> lash lift and now my lashes touch the top of my eyelids. And it's annoying, but lash lifts are the best thing in the whole entire world. So it's worth it. You may have noticed I didn't do anything to my eyebrows. Days I literally don't have to because I do have them tattooed in, obviously. So sometimes I literally don't do them. So I'm just going to use my MAC brow gel and I am just going to set them in place. So now that that's done, I'm just going to take some more of my Chloe Malika highlight and put that in the inner corner of my eye and just brighten that up a bit. So all that's left is my lips, so I am going to use my Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in Girlfriend. go so I'm just gonna wait for that to dry so over the top of that I use my Fenty lip gloss I usually use the pink gloss bomb but that is downstairs in my car so I'm gonna use the diamond milk one because they both have the exact same sheen and the gloss bomb is basically this color in this lip gloss so I'm just gonna take a bit of that on the end of my finger and just pat that on my lips so they look nice and juicy so there we go, that is the final look. So yeah, really easy, really simple, only takes me about 10 to 15 minutes, perfect for work, perfect for a daytime look, really easy. So I really hope you enjoyed, thank you so much for watching, um, please let me know if there's any video ideas that you'd like to see, I am more than happy to take suggestions and yeah. I think that's really it. Is there anything else I want to say? I really hope you enjoyed this look. Let me know if you recreate it or if you buy the Quick Flick. Oh my God, and we can talk about how amazing the Quick Flick is together. So yeah, thank you again so much for watching. I will be back very, very soon. I pinky pinky promise. And yeah, stay tuned for some very exciting videos. Mwah. Bye, guys.